Hey garden friends, just wanted to show you some of my terrariums. Some of you were asking how I create these. I'm uh, not today going to show you how to create them, but I just want to show you how you can create some very nice terrariums just using stuff that you might have around in your yards. I do have a, everything minus one piece of uh, a, a certain type of moss that I did pick up, uh, but most of my terrariums are completely from what I have around the yard. You might call them weeds. I do have some nice mosses. But check around your yards and see what you have. On a small scale in a terrarium, this stuff looks really great. These little tiny clovers just pop up everywhere, especially when it just rained. This makes a really nice ground cover. And this stuff just takes over my lawn. About every two weeks, I'm constantly cleaning and uh, just, you know, basic maintenance of the terrariums. Uh, if you have uh, terrariums, you might see little worms or other little creatures that kind of came with the substrate in the soil that will pop up and they'll leave little tracks up the glass. I'm, like I said, I'm constantly cleaning this up and making sure it looks nice and doing a little yard work down inside depending on if it needs anything. Um, one of the tools I like to use uh, the most is a chopstick, which I push down the dirt, anything that's come up from any of the worms or uh, arthropods that are down there. So I'll just tap it down and then the moss will start to grow back over that. And then uh, any little weeds that I need to take out, this little guy was in there and has been growing pretty pretty heavily but we'll get that guy out of there not a big deal this is some moss I did pick up though just as a filler I wanted to kind of cover up some of those bare spots uh, for the time being so I'm just going to use some uh, tweezers and uh, get that back down in there and it'll change color over a few weeks it lightens up for sure it's not gonna at least I haven't had that bright colored moss uh, stay like that for too long um, but I will use it as a filler and then I will see how it kind of lays down over time and then probably grab some more moss from the, the yard and, and fill in those, those blank spots. But you can see in the time being, you know, you can see a, a couple different types of mosses here. You do whatever you feel makes your terrarium look its best and it'll grow over time that's the cool thing this other one I did kind of got it up on a on a hill on one side and then uh, a few of the rocks again once what I found in my yard and uh, lined it with uh, all different types of mosses and then right there in the back I'm gonna get you a closer shot in a second this is where I dropped some of the springtails in springtails are highly beneficial little guys these guys right here uh, I call them the worker bees of your terrarium. As they're going ahead and eating mold and algae, they're also fertilizing your terrarium. But these guys are harmless and <laughs> little white arthropods. But I highly suggest it's a great bioactive terrarium at that point. And uh, just drop them in and you can cultivate them and uh, make more of them. It's pretty easy. This one I'm just kind of doing a little quick zap with uh, some grow light just to kind of every time I go in there I try to get it back to uh, all natural hitting it with my rep defogger but just wanted to show you these guys real quick and uh, what you can do with just stuff from around your yard I think they look really nice and I think that you guys can do this just as easy so we'll see you again and once again like I said we will do an update video and I'll probably do one uh, from the start so you can see it all the way through uh, from start to finish but once again thanks my friends and we'll see you next time